Okay, this is, uh, I've walked down the southeast peninsula. This is going down through the tunnel, looking out towards Kristoff Harbor. And that mountain right in the middle is, uh, is Mount Nevis. Beautiful scenery here. This is actually the, um, the Caribbean side here. And you can see this little thin strip of land, and this is the Atlantic side. I mean, this is how close it, it goes. And it goes down like around uh, eight miles straight down this way to the end. And there's like about a two and a half mile strip from from actually um, St. Kitts to Nevis. And there's a swim every uh, year that swim around March. If you're a good swimmer, you want to come down. This is a great swim to go from Nevis to St. Kitts, two and a half mile. If you're a super swimmer, you can do it in about an hour, probably an hour, 10 minutes. Uh, so, you know, it just depends on how, how good you are, but it's a great swim. Uh, it's uh, I can't tell you how it's uh, the waves are pretty high coming across. It's not like you know going out here on the on the uh, coastline and just swimming because you you really have to. It's totally different when you're going across the channel there. But what I want to talk to you today, also before I do, if you want to legally get your income taxes to zero, how to get a second passport as quick as 45 days, do three things. Hit the subscribe button in the right of your screen. You get new videos automatically as they come out. And don't forget to hit that notification bell next to the subscribe button. And I would like to hear from you. If you got a question or comment, just put it below. And number three is go to our website, www.citizenshipquickly.com. If you want to get your taxes to zero or get a second passport as quick as 45 days. All right, now what I want to talk to you about, because I've mentioned this but not in this format before. When I first came to St. Kitts, um, I applied for an uh, insurance license. Got that, no problem. But when I applied for a real estate license, problem, okay? Filled out three different forms that conveniently lost all three of them, okay? Now, when you apply for what's called a restricted business, um, what happens is restricted businesses are businesses that you, you you have to be a citizen to get, you know, in that type of business. Okay, now uh, the the problem with a lot of people is when they come and they try to work in a country like I mentioned before, they try to get in a business that is restrictive and they can't do it. Okay, now I was a citizen. Okay, and they basically were trying to get keep me from the government was trying to keep me from working in the real estate business although I was a citizen of St. Kitts okay now where the problem came in was when the third one was conveniently lost the applications because the way it works is when you apply for a regular license in St. Kitts it goes to the Ministry of Finance but restricted businesses typically go not only through the Ministry of Finance, but Cabinet has to sign off. That means it goes up to the very, very top, and they have to sign off. Uh, and this way they, they you know, can keep people from getting in businesses that are restricted, that are not supposed to be there, that are, you know, that are not citizens. Okay, but remember, I was a citizen, okay? And when they basically turned it down, I couldn't get anybody to talk to me at the top. I finally got hold of two people. Uh, one was an advisor to someone at the top, and uh, another one was the attorney general. Talked to both of them. They could not understand what the problem was. They said, uh, because an economic citizen is treated the same as a regular naturalized citizen or someone that's born in St. Kitts, okay? The only difference is you can't run for public office. There have been some things about voting. I've never really... You know, I've, I've, I haven't voted here, so, uh, you know, uh, I've had some people tell me you can, some people say you can't. I'm not going to try to get in a discussion on that, but, uh, you know, I've just never voted, and it's just never been a subject I've been interested in. But th the point I'm trying to make is the fact they didn't want to issue the license, okay? Uh, I finally got, you know, a little bit extremely irritated over this because when the advisor to the guy at the top and the attorney general tell me, otherwise that I'm in the right and they can't understand what's going on and then all of a sudden everybody stops talking to me okay so I literally had to go hire a lawyer I hired one of the best in the in the country it floored him he could not figure out what was going on because citizens if you're a citizen of St. Kitts okay you've got the legal right to work in St. Kitts now obviously you can't be a doctor if you didn't go to medical school I mean that's quite obvious but I'm talking about anything that you're remotely able to do, okay, that doesn't require extra, you know, 
uh, educational requirements, you're you're supposed to be able to get that license, okay, to do that. That was not happening, okay. So I hired this guy. We were two inches from literally suing the government. And guess what happened? They issued the license, okay. They took it to the. The reason I'm bringing this out. The, the government was so strict on citizenship and letting people come in from outside. They viewed me as an outsider, although I had economic citizenship. And they knew that they had to give me the license, but it took me to t- go all the way and hire a lawyer and almost go to court before they would issue that, that, um, that license. Now, that was not the government that's in, that's in uh, office now. It was a prior government. Okay, but I'm just telling you, the reason I'm telling you this is people make these international moves and they don't understand when they listen to these videos, I tell them, and it's not just here, it's other countries too. If you don't have citizenship, folks, I'm telling you, man, they protect these businesses with an iron fist. Citizens get pissed off with the government when when people outside are coming in and starting businesses that's not a citizen. So this is why if you come to St. Kitts, or not just St. Kitts, go to any place in the world. If you're planning on working, you better go to a place that you can get that passport. That's why I did a video a while back that I said, you know, if you're not going to go through, if you're going to move to Thailand and you're still going to be working, okay, That Thai passport is very difficult to get. You're going to have to relinquish all your passports, learn Thai, which is an extremely difficult language. Not just Thailand, Panama, all these other countries. Think before you leap and go to these countries and you start setting up businesses. If you don't have the ability to get citizenship in a reasonable amount of time without relinquishing your other passports, you're going to face the same problem I did in St. Kitts, but I had citizenship, okay? We're talking about people that don't even have citizenship. I had citizenship. Look how tough it was for me. This went on for four years, folks. It got me really pissed off. Uh, But literally, I had to push to the limit by hiring a lawyer, and we were almost in court, okay? And they issue the license. But these are the tough things that you're going to face. And if you're not a citizen and you're trying to go to a country, and remember this too, when you go to a country, I've seen this happen so much, people get in a business, then they, it doesn't work out. Something comes up, and they switch businesses. And now that business is a restricted business. Now they don't have the ability to get citizenship, so guess what they're going to do? Pack their bags up, take off, and move. And what this does, it ends up costing you literally thousands and thousands of dollars and a lot of wasted time. Folks, if you want to learn more, go to our website, www.citizenshipquickly.com. Hit the top bar that says apply with us. Fill out the questions. Hit that bottom bar that says send it to us. We'll get back with you. We deal with over 100 citizenship by investment, residency by investment countries in the world. And folks, I still believe, as I mentioned to you before, I believe that St. Kitts has the best ball of wax out there. It's got all the negatives cut out. It ain't perfect. You see some of the hassles I had to go through, but I'm going to tell you, when you got a country that has no income tax, no capital gains tax, no estate tax, no inheritance tax, a property tax is close to zero. It's 0.20% of what you're you're buying with a $29,600 U.S. dollar exclusion. Nice weather all year round. Dual citizenship. Almost 160 visa-free countries that you can travel to, either visa-free or visa-free on arrival. It's not going to get any better than that. I look forward to talking to you on the next video. Take care.